Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio, five minutes a day, five days a week. Studying the Psalms verse by verse, that's what we're all about right here on Daily Dose Radio, and today we're looking at verses 7 and 8, Psalm 147. Let me just read those for you. If you have your Bible, you want to pull it out and join me as we read. If you're you know, unable to find your Bible at this moment, that's okay. I've translated this for us. This is my translation, verses 7 and 8. The afflicted with thanks to the Lord sing to our God with the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds. He sends rain upon the earth. He causes grass to grow on the mountains. Now that's 7 and 8. Here we have the afflicted again. They show up here. And the afflicted, what are they doing? Well, they're singing. And you'll notice how I've translated that. The afflicted with thanks to the Lord sing. So this is an interesting... The way this is composed is very interesting. We really only have one verb here, and that's sing. So, the afflicted with thanks to the Lord sing to our God with the lyre. So, we have them singing, and of course, we began 147 with that very thing, didn't we? It's good to sing to our God. Well, why is that? Well, we've been answering that question. He's redemptive in 3 and 4. His power, his understanding without limit, and he's also merciful. He restores the afflicted, and it is in in that context now that we read 7. The afflicted who he has restored, they're now singing because it's pleasant and praise is beautiful. He covers the heavens with clouds. He sends rain upon the earth. He causes grass to grow on the mountains. So all of this is a part of the whole redemptive scheme of the Lord bringing the people back into the land, and it's also seen by the church as part of the redemptive scheme, that God's goodness extends to his people not only spiritually, but God extends goodness to them through provision for their everyday needs. The clouds in the skies bring rain, the rain comes upon the earth, and the rain on the earth causes grass to grow. So we have this succession of things that happen here, and it's all because of God's goodness. He covers, he sends, he causes. All of these processes happen because we have a God who's in charge of it all. So he's the one that's doing the work. And the afflicted, well, they're still back in the background singing. They're thanking the Lord because he is providing for their very need. He's restored them, and now they've been restored. They give thanks, and they sing. And, of course, we shouldn't pass up the mention of the lyre here musical instrument that has been very important in the Psalter and all, especially the Psalms of David. David has reported that the lyre is to be used in many of the Psalms, and he's mentioned it in several. And here we have it again, an instrument that's important to note in the history of praise. And, you know, let's not get stuck on um, what instrument we should use or have to use because the Bible mentions it, or instruments that we shouldn't use because the Bible doesn't mention it. All of this, all of the musical instruments that are listed and all the ones that are not listed are all beautifully used to praise God. It's it's just a matter of legalism, really, when we decide that something can't be used to praise God and something can be used to praise God. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's all useful in the praise. The lyre just happens to be mentioned here, and I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever really seen a lyre used in the worship of the Lord. I'm sure maybe there's a lyre somewhere in the world that somebody uses in a church. There's lots of instruments out there, and we should take our time to use all of them to praise the Lord with. Because the Lord's in charge of all things, and it's good to sing praises to Him because it's pleasant and praise is beautiful. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 9 and 10 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.